What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how wide receivers can get a faster release off the line of scrimmage, and one of the biggest mistakes that wide receivers make by extending their front leg, which causes them to not have any speed and no explosion off the line. So I hope this video helps you guys out, but also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to come get some work in with us this offseason, we are going to be traveling out to five more states across the U.S. for two-day-long quarterback and wide receiver training camps. So we've already been to Tampa, Florida, Houston, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, in Newark, New Jersey, and Atlanta, Georgia, but now we're going to be coming out to Columbus, Ohio, then Chicago, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, and Los Angeles, California. So if you guys want some more information on our two-day long training camps, limited spots, only 10 to 12 guys per position group, check out that very first link in the description below. You guys, we would love to have you out to one of our off-season camps. Let's get started. So now, first things first when you're coming off the line, you do not want to be in this extended position, right? So a lot of wide receivers come out, they feel like, oh, I want to be relaxed coming off the line. And yes, you do want to be relaxed. You do not want to be tense. But this position right here will not get you any kind of speed off of the ball. We're going to be looking at a clip of Cooper Cup here in a second where he showcases a great stance to be in that gives you some explosion and some burst. But we do not want to be extended with my front leg. You have no weight on your front leg when you're in this position. So you're just going to take either a false step or you're going to dip down. And that is not what we want to do. So let's play this thing full speed. So this wide receiver, you see how he dips down and then he pops back up and he does not get as much speed does not threaten the db as much as he could vertical just because he doesn't have as much twitch off the line when you guys have to dip down that is wasted motion why not already start in this position why not already have your knee bent and explode off the line right away rather than having to dip down and slow yourself down so just make sure fellas if you're trying to get faster off the line you want to be a little bit more explosive with your press releases do not stand straight up in the air do not have that front leg extended out get some weight on the front leg let's already be in this position. 70% of your weight on your front leg so we could just explode out and drive off the line with as much speed as possible. So I'm going to play this thing full speed one more time. Then we're going to look at that example of Cooper Cup like I mentioned before. So we just do not want to dip down. That is one of the key things that wide receivers love to do that will slow them down. So Cooper Cup, you see how the position he's in. He's in a good pad level position, right? This is from him at the NFL Combine when he was entering the league. Now, I want you to see something here. He pivots off of his front foot, but he does not dip into his front foot. The pivot, if you feel like you need some kind of movement to get you off the line um, faster when it's like a zone coverage situation where you have to get off the ball, the pivot of your front foot is one of the best things that you could do. But you do not want to dip and change levels because you going up and down, that makes you lose explosion. You want to stay in the same explosive spot for that first maybe 10 yards, right? Because like think about a route, for example, before I play this full speed. Like let's say you're running like a comeback route, right? Like let's say you have to break this thing off. Like let's say you're breaking it off 15 yards back to 12, right? So when you go for that first like five, you want to be explosive. Like you want to be powerful off the line of scrimmage because that next 10, you want to be accelerating, standing up and running to self fade. It's almost like a 40 yard dash, right? Like when you run a 40 yard dash, that first 10 yards, they call it the drive phase. You're trying to be as explosive and as powerful as possible to give you acceleration for the last 30 yards. So that's how you want to think of it off the line. So when you start out off the line and you're very tall and then you have to dip down, then you have to come back up. It's just wasted time that we do not need. The whole point of training, the whole point of training receivers, training quarterbacks is to get rid of wasted motion. And that's what we can do by being in a better stance. So let's play this thing full speed. He just runs a simple fade, but I mainly want to focus on his start. It's just a pivot of the front foot. He stays in an explosive spot the entire time. There's no dip. It is just a simple pivot of his front foot to explode him off the line a little bit faster and allow him to drive his knee through. Do you have to pivot? Absolutely not. Pivoting is not a must. Pivoting is not like, hey, your receiver, you come off the line, you didn't pivot. I'm going to pull you back and tell you, hey, you must pivot your front foot. You just got to be in an explosive position and have weight on your front leg. A lot of wide receivers love to also take that false step right? So what is a false step? So a false step would be like you're in a stance and instead of exploding with the back foot through first, like how Cooper Cup does right there and have your first step be at about a yard to two yards, what guys will do is they'll step with their front foot first. They'll step backwards and then forward with the left leg. That pivot is a great way to get rid of that, but the best way to get rid of that is having enough weight on your front foot that doesn't allow your front foot to take a false step. That's why I say you want 70%, 80% of your weight on your front foot to be able to explode out and drive. So to get that faster release, fellas, we cannot stand extended with my front leg and dip down. We have to focus on keeping a nice knee bend with the front leg, 
70% on the front leg. And if we need to move something, we pivot, but we stay at the same level so I could drive and explode off the line. Let's play this thing again full speed. Now we're going to look at one more clip where we talk about how you can get a more explosive press release by using something we call a kick step. So let's play this full speed. So great job by Cup exploding and being able to get off that line fast and being able to attack if he needed to a zone coverage DB. So now what we're going to be looking at now is something called a kick step. So a kick step is not the only thing that you can use off the line against press. You could also use something called a prep step or a gather step. Now that step is, is for another time. We're going to discuss that in a different video. Today I want to talk solely about the kick step and what are some of the positives and one negative of this kick step. So you guys have probably seen this before, but what a kick step is is where you take this back foot, like like again, like the ball's over here to the left. So um, his, he's in a his switch stance with his feet. The only time wide receivers do that is mainly to throw off the DB or to change timing on a play. So like it's very common in offenses that like to run like double slants, for example. They'll have the outside guy run a three-step slant and they'll have the inside guy run a two-step slant. So his stance is switched. You see this a lot in college, see this a lot in the NFL, but it's mainly for timing purposes or to just throw off a DB and get him to uh, maybe think another route is coming, right? Based off of your stance, okay? So now the kick step is like if you were if you had your inside side foot up if his left foot was up the kick step would be with the right foot instead but it's whatever foot is backwards whatever foot is stepped back the foot um it, in this case it's the foot closest to the quarterback so what it is is when you kick it behind your front foot now why does that give you more speed how does that make you faster off the line because it allows you to throw your hip into the cut and throw your upper body which ultimately gives you more explosion so let's play this thing full speed i want you to see how explosive this first step was so they call this a wide step release so he does this kick behind throws the step inside you see how much separation he's able to get and then win this play at the top of the route so when I go here and I take that kick step, that's what I call loading your hips. So when you kick behind yourself like so, that puts your hips in a very explosive position, right? Like, so like a lot of wide receivers, what they love to do is they love to be very wide with their feet. Like they think that, oh, I'm going to be wide and I'm just going to move my upper half and that's going to get me space. But you want to be able to step like to move a DB, you need to step outside of his frame. You need to step and threaten him here. But if I just step there and I don't have any kind of explosion from a kick step, there's really not much speed and it really doesn't threaten him. We have to be sudden to threaten the DB. We have to be explosive to threaten the DB. So this kick step is a great way to do that. So if I were to come here in this kick step, that puts your position where your hips are like kind of narrow, I guess. And when your hips are narrow, if you step wide, you really, there's something about your hips being in this position that will really throw you out wide. It's tough to explain the reason why, but when you're feet are kind of like inside your frame if you will your feet are narrow you have way more of a push and way more of a throw think about it like baseball like a pitcher when he is like when he's pitching and he brings that leg kick up his feet are in a very narrow position a pitcher doesn't have a wide base and then take a quick stride right a pitcher has a very narrow base and takes a very long stride but that long stride how far he steps that can give him a little bit more power because he's pushing off of the opposite leg right? So same idea when I'm playing receiver. If I'm in this position, almost like I'm narrow with my feet, like a pitcher, I can push and really throw my hip, take a longer step, a longer stride, which sells the route a little bit more. But I also have some explosion to it because I'm trying to be quick. I have some twitch to it and I loaded my hips. So that's the main key. That's the whole point of the kick step is just to get some more explosion. Can you use this on every release? Absolutely. You could use this on like a slide release. You could kick behind yourself and use that kick to slide you outside, change the tempo. You could use this kick step and you can go one step here and then push and give an inside move here and take an inside release. There are so many different things that you can do with the kick step, but it's just a great way to get more speed and more explosion off the ball when you're in a press coverage situation. So let's play this thing again, full speed one more time. Great job using this example of a kick step, being able to throw his hip and get plenty of explosion off the line to win on this route. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If uh, you guys have any questions at all don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below we uh, always appreciate the feedback it's always great to hear from you guys as usual and again fellas if you'd like to work with us this off season we're traveling out to five different states we're coming out to columbus ohio chicago illinois dallas texas nashville tennessee and los angeles california so if you're local to one of those five cities or would like to travel out we have people travel out every single one of these that we do um, we always appreciate it so very first link in that description below i'll see you guys next time